go in file you have to go in file new project and then add any project i already add a new project and that is this taco 23 and now this is your question what is your question now the question is you can see rl load resistance each question marks means you have to find rl for maximum power transferred through the circuit so the full question is find the value of rl for maximum power transferred in the circuit and find the maximum power also so you have two question first of all you have to find rl and then we have to find maximum power transfer theorem now you can see the circuit first of all you draw the circuit in your schematic this is bar voltage dc 6 3 12 2 ampere dc current source to rl so what is now after drawing first of all come what is maximum power transfer theorem so for dc the maximum power transfer if in any circuit when maximum power transfer through the circuit then rl is equal to load resistance is equal to internal resistance of the circuit so means when this rl is equal to the internal resistance of this circuit then the maximum power transfer through the circuit okay understood now so first of all how can we find rl simply we, we done already in thevenin's theorem we apply all the same procedure in this first of all we have to why we ap apply thevenin's theorem to find maximum power transfer theorem you will understood after doing this so first of all you do remove this so selection filter parts and okay you know all these things now rl is selected this rl we have to remove according to thevenin's theorem and what place here tell no that is idc current current source dc current source now i d c here rotate two times up before placing to check that you have done means what is you choose in your mouse here you can see a timeline one selected item referred part value idc means you have selected one so al always check part timeline because this is let also now connect there take some times now it is done now press yes key now here you can see i2 now what we have do next you know all this thing in thevenin's but i did tell you again now go to now first of all you have to save this document then pspice new civilization profile and name anything you want you know create now go to pspice again now not no sorry here you can see a pop up window simulation setting here you can choose dc sweep in analysis tab and here current source and i2 i2 because our current source is in plot in x axis you know all same name here i2 here i2 now 
स्टार्ट वैल्यू यू नो जीरो एंड वैल्यू जीरो वन एंड दिस जीरो पॉइंट वन अप्लाई ओके नाउ रन दिस पीस पाइस रन here this output file is coming now here you can see our x axis graph is already drawing through i2 i2 is drawing here 0 to 1 increment 0 0.1 now add trace here from red color now v i2 minus in thickness you know all these things now simply here your graph is output graph and you know what is our RTH? This intercept. Intercept is the RTH. And this RTH, what is RTH value? Here you can see RTH. What is RTH value? One division is one. One squared is one unit. So twenty one, twenty two and 23 24 this is 22 means rth is 22 so rth is equal to 22 ohm 22 ohm to m and this is equal to rl this is our required rl vth is rl nothing else how because you know how the the maximum power transfer th resistance here find by open circuited here and dissolve the sources by voltage source from short circuited and current source from open circuited so is it it is open circuited resistance so that's why i rth rth is equal to rl is equal to 22 and what is our next thing vth you know slope of this graph is vth here you can see this line is here means 31 and this is 22 22 minus 31 is equal to 9 and 9 by 1 this is our slope so vth is equal to vth is equal to 9 you know and our maximum power transfer theorem formula we find rth all means rl load resistance now we have to find maximum power transfer that's why i find vth now what is our maximum power transfer theorem formula that is p max means power maximum is through the circuit is equal to vth square vth into vth means vth square by by 4 rl 4 rl now we know rl value that is rth from graph and we know vth value so put here and we get our maximum power that is 13.44 what so that's it guys for this video we we done all these things